Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the pros and cons of being a coach or personal trainer. If you're working with clients, whether you are brand new, maybe you've been doing this for a while, I'm gonna be talking about the differences and the benefits of being a coach or personal trainer, having your own business. Now, this is for you if you are considering having a business, right? There's a big difference between having a business and not having a business. When you don't have a business, right? A lot of the stuff that we talk about today will not apply to you, all right? So I'm going to assume this is for you if you are already in business. So let's dig in. Let me first start with the cons of coaching and personal training. This is what I experienced early on with my business, and it's good that I share this with you, and maybe you can relate to me, all right? When I first started, a bunch of the, the problems that I ran into, it came down to clients who were uncommitted, clients who didn't pay, or clients that owed money, and that was my fault, all right? But I ultimately attracted clients that would show up late, they didn't respect my time. Uh, clients who were late on paying, so I would do this session and then I wouldn't get paid and I would get paid like a week later or a month later. A big con with that is sometimes, based on how you run your business, you are at the disposal of your client's time. If they show up late, all right, what are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna fire them or are you going to just continue working with them, let them run all over you? Again, these are problems that I ran, on, uh, ran into early, okay? So if you are disorganized with your big, uh, business, you are going to run into a ton of problems, not only financially, but you're always gonna feel like your clients don't respect you because they are never on time. A couple other cons that I wanna touch on is you can easily be burned out with being a personal trainer or coach. That comes down to how you have your schedule set up. I ran into this problem personally. I remember in the summer, I think it was 2014, I was training around 37 sessions per week. All right, that is a lot. That was just the training. That had nothing to do with customer support, dealing with clients outside of the sessions, setting up the sessions. I mean, I was working probably 70 to 80 hours every week of just preparing and working with my clients. It's a lot. It's a lot more than the average person who works 40 hours per week, all right? So again, that came down to my scheduling. My scheduling was terrible, but I set it up that way. That was my fault. And these are choices a lot of coaches and trainers, they make without really thinking. They're just like, oh, well, I wanna take on more clients. And then when you take on more clients, you end up working more hours, all right? That leads into my next con here which is a lot of coaches and trainers, they trade their time for money. They're saying, this is how much I'm worth for one hour, all right? Typically, that's 40 to 60 bucks for that one session, and then that client comes, you train them, they pay you for your time, and then they leave, and then they come back again the next week or the next session, they do the same thing. So you are being paid based off of the amount of time that you are spending with your clients. So the only way to make more money is by spending more time. So that means you have to work more. A lot of coaches and trainers look at this as a service-based business, and it is, but it's impossible to scale what you do if you are trading time for money. This is why when I look at coaches in our mastermind program, when I help them evolve what they do with their business, we stop thinking in terms of trading time for money. And we start thinking, how can we maximize our time so we can take on more clients at once? And when those clients are training with you, now you're making way more money per session, right? Making way more money per month. And we're starting to minimize the amount of time that you work throughout the month, all right? And here are the, the pros of being a personal trainer, all right? For me, it's freedom. I don't have to answer to anyone. I get to wake up whenever I want. Um, 
I get to work whenever I want. I get to take on whatever clients I want. And my schedule can be whatever I want, whenever I want, right? Now, if you go back earlier and heard what I said about getting burned out and stuff like that, I already experienced that. So I learned, I learned very valuable lessons early on. You can't just work like a dog 24 seven as a trainer. You need to have time off. You need to set your schedule up correctly. You need to have a certain amount of sessions that you can do throughout the week that make you as the coach happy to where you have a high energy level throughout the week with the sessions that you're putting on, okay? And when you have a lot of freedom within your business, then you get to decide who you take on as clients, right? That comes with experience. The more experience you have, the more picky you can be with the clients that you work with. The less experience, I would say, the less picky you get to be taking on clients, all right? And when you go back and, and you, you think about, well, if I don't have to work for anyone, then who's going to get me clients? I look at that as a big pro within the training industry. I get to market myself however I want. No one is telling me what I can or what I can't say. I get to do that however I want. I can market as hard as I want. I could be on Facebook every single day. I could be writing a newsletter every single day, right? Another pro is no one's going to be able to cap the amount of money that you generate. If you set up your program, whether it's in person or online, right? If it's in person, there's no cap on what you do financially. You could have hundreds of clients. You could have 20 clients. You could work three hours per day. You could work one hour per day. Whatever you're doing, is it scalable? Yes or no? Are you trading time for money? Hopefully you're not, right? And when we think about the, the financial aspect of, of coaches and trainers, when you set up your business the right way and you set up to where it's scalable, right? You start to work less and generate more income. This is why it's very common for coaches that, that work with us in our mastermind. They can go from, I've seen many coaches have gone from like $5,000 a month to $20,000 a month. And that's because we change the way they approach their business. We change the way their model, uh, their business model is. We, we, we flip it upside down and we reverse engineer the process from start to finish where here's how you get clients. Here's how you train clients. Here's how we put them into a system. Here's how we get them results. Here's how we can track everything. Here's how we can systemize everything. And here's how we can scale everything, right? And again, if you're one of those trainers that wants to bring on infinite amount of clients, well, because it's your business, you can hire other coaches and trainers to work for you. That's why you're working on the business, not in the business. And that's very common for a lot of coaches we work with. Once they develop their client base and they start to get more success and they start to be more well-known uh, within their area, they start to bring on other coaches. So now they can delegate coach one, coach two, coach three. They can start to bring on more clients. And again, as the business owner, you're not having to fulfill the work. You are bringing on coaches and other assistants that can do the work for you. So I hope this video helps you. You can look at some of the cons, some of the pros. And if you're a coach or a trainer and you already have a business, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Tell me where you're based out of. I'd love to know uh, what city, state, or country you're in. And all, you, all I want you to do, really, is after you get done watching this video, shoot me a text. My number is 210-960-5771. Every single day, coaches and trainers reach out to me. They're texting me. Uh, I get on calls with, with coaches that are just like you, and I wanna see how I can help you grow your business. Currently, we're serving tons of coaches throughout the world that are part of our mastermind program. And I think that'd be a great fit for you if you're serious, you love helping clients, and you love seeing a huge difference with, within your clients' lives. All right, that's it for today's video. I'll see you soon.